it's really important for the outreach of our mission here at the Auburn Bands is to gain exposure not only in the state and southeast and national level, but also international level. And that's been one of my missions as director of bands to accomplish that. I saw the U.S. China and Educational and Cultural Foundation and I saw that that was a great trip and checked into different uh, college band directors who have taken their groups to China and they said it was an unbelievable experience and you know and a, one of a lifetime. In an educational aspect studying abroad is hugely important because if you can understand where other countries came from and where they've been in their history and you understand ours as well then you can kind of compare. Um, as far as music education and the music history um, Chinese music is hugely historical for especially the percussion. All of our gongs, all of our cymbals, all of that came from here. I never would have had the chance to come to China if it hadn't been for study abroad and for the university. And so I think it's really important to get outside of our comfort zone of Auburn and of Alabama or even just the United States and to see other cultures. Because like I said, with, we never know how they're going to react to things like this and how they're going to treat things differently. We've learned so many things about their culture already and the way that they um, do things just very differently than we do in America. It was a really good opportunity just to learn a different culture um, and play some great music for, um, you know, for this different culture of people. Overall, the week has been really good. Uh, it's been a long week, definitely, moving from place to place. I think I took a different perspective from the train. Uh, both times we rode, I was busy doing something else. But it was just really neat, a really neat experience being able to um, experience something like that. You know, we don't, we don't see those kinds of things in the United States. I've never ridden a high speed train before, but we figured out with the conversion that we were going about 185 miles per hour, which is pretty incredible. We also found out that this is a very new form of transportation here, and even our tour guide, um, Dr. Song, had never ridden on one of these high speed trains before. I think my favorite thing all week was getting to visit the elementary school. Uh, being a music education major, it was really neat to see how those children participated in music and getting to see their band and their traditional Chinese group. The way they do things is, you know, rather different from how we do in the U.S. They had a group exercise instead of PE. Our PE is just kind of all the kids run around and do whatever. But they all have a choreographed little exercise that they do. And they were super responsive to us. They all want to try to wave at us and say hi. I think all kids in general, whether you're from westernized culture or not, they all just appreciate live music. And they appreciate, you know, both their own fellow students who were up there playing and who did a fantastic job, as well as some of ours who did up and, and just getting to be around it, it. It really wasn't very different than anything I would have experienced in the United States. Excuse me, music is a universal language. It, it goes a long way in that it's something that we love to do, it's something that other people um, enjoy doing, and I, I think that people will be able to relate to that in ways that reading a book might be different than. I think anybody can listen to a piece of music and they can take something away from that. Because music is such a universal language, it's such a good thing to exchange culturally. It's really cool that we're playing so much of their music but we're also playing American stuff like very Americana marches and Dixieland music. So it's really great to kind of experience both sides of that and hopefully they'll enjoy what we have to offer. We're playing some traditional American which people over here haven't heard before and they have thought it's the coolest thing. had the outdoor concert and although it was a little cold and windy that day and uh, there weren't many seats set up there was a nice stage and it was a, a beautiful campus but there was only about 30 seats we went to lunch and we came back and at that time several thousand students had filled into that area
That's probably the most pictures I've ever taken at one time. It's oh like we're gosh. famous. I, I feel like, like a mini celebrity or something. I feel like a celebrity. Literally everywhere we go, there's people taking pictures of us, wanting pictures with us, stuff like that. It's pretty cool that, that the Chinese people are interested in the fact that we're here, seeing like kind of the way people live and their similarities and differences. Um, is, is kind of enlightening. This is kind of interesting because we're not in Shanghai or Beijing, we're in Chuzhou, which you get a little less attention uh, in the bigger cities since there are more people who look like us. But here you don't see people posted up on the corner every day with a camera. I think it's really important to study abroad because you're not going to get experiences like this in the U.S. And I've really learned so much about myself in addition to the people I'm with and the people I've met over here. The trip has been incredible so far. We've been to three different cities, um, it's just an eye-opening experience, seeing all the different uh, people and culture, the way, the traditions. We visited the Great Wall, Forbidden City, we've been everywhere, I imagine. We've been all over the country so far, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Studying abroad is just an amazing experience, it's very eye-opening. You, um, I think it can say a lot about developing your character. You can really take in some of the experiences and kind of shape who you are. I think the reaction that we've had from our China experience was that there is just uh, love of music uh, and they, they're they really looking forward to next year's symphonic band. The students have really got a good respect of the other students in different sections and you could tell they have a, a better respect for each other and they've really bonded over that trip and learning new friendships. Mm -hmm.